So this one is a perfect example to apply the tangent constraint. Okay. So here, let's try to apply it. So this dimension is 30. This dimension is 30. This is 50. Okay. So first, let us try to draw this shape. Okay. Let us try to draw this shape. Then we will go for this one. Okay. The two circles and the two tangent lines. This we will go for. Okay. So first, we are going to draw this particular shape. So let us try to make a rough shape. Then let us try to apply the dimensions for it. So first, let us try to draw this. Let's see about the example four. Example four for sketching. So in this one, you will learn about how to apply the tangent constraint and how to apply the angular constraint. If you want to provide it as an angle, you can provide or you can give it as a dimension, linear dimension. That also you can able to provide it for this delta in portion. Okay. So front view, let me select for the sketch. So once you selected the plane, look perpendicular to the plane by either right click and select view normal to sketch plane or press N on your things. Okay. On your keyboard. Now, let's try to draw this particular portion okay, of this. You can see over here, this particular profile, first let us try to draw. Here, I am making that profile. So whenever you are drawing something, please try to make uh, based on some other references so that whenever you are dimensioning one thing the other dimension will also fit we know that this height and the other height is same so let us try to make equivalent to that then draw the dimension here here so, and okay so in this uh, we have discussed about the symmetric, right? So let us try to see the symmetric one constraint here. Okay. So let us try to apply the symmetric of this one, of this one, and of this one. So that if you give one dimension, automatically it will applicable to other dimension. So let us see about the dimension here. So this height, it is 50. This is 50. And the remaining is 150. Okay. 50, 50. So here also it is 50. Okay. So the gap is 100. So here the distance is equivalent to 200. The total length is 200, and this distance it is 50, and this distance is 50. If you give this 50, automatically this will be adjusted. Okay, you can see here because of the symmetrical constraint. So you no need to provide this as 50 mm. Okay. Then this distance is 30. Okay. And this height is 30. So if you give it on one side, automatically it will be adjusted to other side. Between this end and this end, this distance is 30. So it will adjust on both sides. Similarly, this end and this end point, the height is 30. Okay. So now we have drawn this portion. So you no need to provide dimensions over here. Because I have applied the symmetrical constraint. So if you apply symmetrical constraint, so on the other side, you no need to provide any dimensions. Okay. So now let's try to draw this portion. So you have to draw two circles, which is of diameter 
sorry, radius 30 and 60. First, let us try to apply that. So two circles exactly on that center. So let's try to apply the dimensions. So outer one is radius 60, so diameter is 120. The inner one dimension, it is radius 30, so diameter is 60. And the center distance from this horizontal plane is 70. Okay. Let us try to make from here. The distance is 70. Okay. Now we have drawn the two circles, but you want to draw a two lines. That line should be tangent to the circle. Okay. Already we have discussed during the tangent constraint. So select the line command. Click on one endpoint and move towards this line. Whenever you see the tangent constraint icon nearer to it, then you can click over there. About. Or you can just drag and click. Later, you apply the tangent constraint. For example, here, the tangent constraint between this line and this end. So it will be automatically update the constraint. Okay. So now this line is drawn and this line is drawn. Okay. So now we have completed our sketch.